but set up Wicked. Go to netbeans.org. Now click on the download free. Now you're going to have to choose your right platform. Mine's automatic, Mac OS X. You can choose your own. If you want an older version of NetBeans, like 6.8, Archive is there. And the plugin for Wicket works better with 6.8 as of now. Uh, what you'll need is NetBeans platform, Java EE, Java Web and EE. You don't need Java FX or Java ME. Uh, you don't need this Ruby, C or C++, Groovy PHP. And you're going to want a Glassfish server or Tomcat maybe. I'm going to be using Glassfish server specifically. Uh, by the way, the plugin you'll see to be able to check whether it'll work with uh, newer versions, but you want this third download. It has Groovy and Java ME, but you can get rid of that later. And you'll see the plugin with Wicket. Well, I'll show you how to download it later and see if there's a newer version. You might want to skip ahead to that step later on, just in case. Uh, but it'll work either way. So download 6.9 and install it. You can still use Wicket, it's not an issue. Um, and I'll show you how to use 6.9 even if the plugin's not working as perfectly as it should. Now, here's where you can get rid of Groovy and Java ME when you click uh, Customize Installation, like you just saw. I am going to install Apache Tomcat 6. Why not? You never know, my use it's only 10 megabytes. And Glassfish Server, of course, says 0 bytes, but that's because I have it installed already. Um, so just install. And I'm going to uh, fast forward the process. This should probably take you about five, six minutes. And uh, once we're done this, we're going to look at the plugin. So close. And now you should get an install succeeded, of course. <laughs> now let's go to netbeans.org again. Click on plugins at the top. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in Wicket into the search bar. And that will search, obviously, for all plugins related to Wicket. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to choose the newest version of the Wicket plugin, which is 1.4, and if it hasn't been updated since August 20th, 2009, so then you're going to have a problem with 6.9. You're going to have to follow all the setup that you're going to see. But if you use 6.8, it might be a little bit smoother. It's not a big deal. Anyways, download. And uh, pretty much when you're done downloading, go to NetBeans Tools, click on Plugins. And now you're going to go to Downloaded and just Add Plugins. Search for the plugins. I already added them, but now we're going to install them. You try and install them all. Wicket Support might not work. Not a big deal. Hit OK. Unclick uh, Wicket Support and install the rest of them. And continue. Just install it. You're done. Now you're going to make a new project. Click that New Project button. And you're going to make an Enterprise Application. If you had the Wicket plugin working, you could use Wicket Application. Um, now I'm just going to type a name. Hit next. I'm using Glassfish Server 3. Now I have my uh, web application, and we're going to add a library, which would have been done automatically, but not a big deal. Add Wicket to the libraries there. And of course, you can use a newer version of Wicket or 1.4.0. Not a big deal, as of now, anyways. Make a new Wicket page. You might have to go to other, but new Wicket page. And I'm going to call mine home page. You might call yours whatever you'd like. And it's going to give you an automatic HTML and Java file template. Right click, hit fix imports, or shift control I. And um, now you're going to make a new Java class. And this is what's going to be the main Wicked application. So I just call it Wicked application, call it whatever you'd like. The main thing, though, is that it's going to have to extend the main um, Wicked application, which is going to call, be called extends web application. Uh, you're making web applications, so you have to extend the web application, fix imports again, uh, implement all abstract methods, and just this is going to help you point to your home page. So return homepage dot class or whatever your main page is going to be. Ours is home page. Save. That's it. Now. Um, now if you go to uh, your web pages over here, webinf, we're going to add a new deployment descriptor. So just add new, go to web, add standard deployment descriptor, and this is going to help Glassfish specifically, web.xml. And um, now you're going to go to filters, add filter element, and uh, go. you're going to have to type in org.apache.wicket.protocol.http.wicketfilter. And now you're going to be Wicket Application Filter, or whatever filter name you really want. The really important part is the filter class. And that's going to help your uh, server, whatever it might be, uh, look and find the Wicket application. So now we're going to add that parameter name, and it's going to be application class name for this Wicket filter. 
so application class name and we're gonna point it to our web application which we named wicked application and of course if you put in a package like probably you should have you're gonna put the package name so com dot you know test dot wicked application or whatever it was but I put in default which is nothing so it's just called wicked application now I'm gonna add a filter mapping just add filter mapping and the URL pattern slash star make sure it's for the filter name of wicked application filter or whatever your filter name was you should only have one as of now my HTML is just has static super test so it has nothing you know very special nothing very wicked you're gonna click on the ear application and you're gonna hit the play button or the run I guess build and run and so that's going to build the entire the war the EGB and the uh, enterprise application and run it and now NetBeans at least for me will automatically pop up with uh, you know Safari or Firefox when it's done for me it's Safari and now you see it says super test right there very static HTML so let's change that now instead of having the static HTML we're gonna add a something called a span and we're gonna have a wicked ID and it's gonna say title and that's gonna tell wicked this has to be changed and whatever is going to change it has to have an ID of title and it's entirely gonna be replaced um, so which you can pro programmatically change and you save that and it'll actually automatically build glassfish again now in my standard Java code that's uh, made I'm actually gonna point it so it's all the same constructor just so it's all in one spot to me it's not a big deal at least for now to have different constructors or anything so just call super over here and then we're gonna make a label and that label is gonna replace the span text and it's gonna be a new label and it's gonna reference title in the page and it's gonna be hello world of course and uh, now of course you have to fix imports right click and fix imports or hit shift control I and now you're gonna want not java.out.label but the org apache wicket label and um, now just hit OK, and you'll see it added to the imports. Now this doesn't have to be title, it could be label. It's a variable name, it could be whatever you want. Now we're going to add it to the page, and now we're going to save. It's automatically going to build everything. And now we're just going to refresh, and we'll see the new Hello World automatically updated. And there you go, a very simple, wicked application. Not much. So I'll please just uh, rate comment, uh, show some support, uh, it'll motivate me to make more videos, and if you have any videos in particular you want me to focus on, EJB, JE, Wicket, anything like that, please uh, leave a comment. And, um, of course, hopefully everything worked for you as it did for me. If you have the newer plugin, probably uh, you can skip a lot of the steps or just make sure a lot of the steps are the same. And uh, good luck with your Wicket development.